Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio, and today we're going to be looking at my top five favorite things about the new Dynamics 365 update. Starting with number one. So I really like the new look and feel of the screens. They're really widgetized, if you will, if that's a real word. So let's just take a look at what they look like and feel like. So right now I'm looking at an account list. So the account view, my active accounts, and you can see the screen looks a lot different. So it's a lot cleaner and easier to read. I really like the layout. And if you remember back to the old version of the accounts, it's not as crisp and clean and easy to display on the screen. This is also the same kind of version that you would see on a tablet. So it's really just taking that, um, the view or the way that it's shown and making it consistent across the board. So you'll see it the same way on your browser as you will inside of a tablet. So let's actually drill into a record here. And you can see the screen's just a lot cleaner now. So we've you know, eliminated a lot of the dead space. So all that extra white that you were seeing before that really just took up space on the screen and didn't benefit you has been replaced by fonts that are more consistent, easier to read, look a lot cleaner, and also just the color changes. So if you notice these are nice light gray with the blue uh, text involved, it's just a lot cleaner, crisper, and easier to see. So this is a feature I really like. And as you click through, you'll find that your screens are just gonna look a lot better. The content's gonna fit a lot nicer. And hopefully some of the changes that you made in the past to live with how the screen showed before, you don't have to worry about, and you can use the standard forms um, moving forward. The number two thing I love about the update is the fact that I can change the panel colors inside of the subgrids. So for example, we're looking at an account form right now, and you can see the information is divided into distinct areas or panels. So I've got my account information, I have my timeline, I have the contacts, recent opportunities. Let's say we want to change this recent opportunities to be a different color other than gray or light gray. Maybe we want that to stand out to our users and you can always use this opportunity to color code the system a little better. So what I'm going to do is actually go under settings, customizations. If you're using a solution, go into that solution or you could just go to customize the system if you're looking at um, your production environment and making the change directly there. So I'm actually going in through the back end here. You can try to go in through the form directly. However, if you don't see the field that you need, you'll have to go under customization and then go under the solution in order to find the field that we're about to update. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go to the form, which is the account main form and click on that. And I'll select, let's update this recent opportunities. I'll double click on that subgrid. And what you'll see here that you haven't been able to see in the past is the panel header color. So it's currently set to F3, 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 which is that gray color that you're seeing a preview of to the right of it. I'm actually going to remove that value and add a new value that's yellow. As you can see, it's updated. It stands out, looks pretty nice. I'm going to click OK. You can always Google these colors to find a different value. And I'm going to save my change and then publish that change. So it might be a small thing to change panel colors, but it actually can make a good, nice impact. So we're reminding our users to look in a certain location, um, or if you separate financials into a certain color, you might want to separate general information into a, another color. It just makes the page look so much more organized, which I love. So let's go ahead and close this and we'll publish, make sure those go through, and then we can go back and take a look at the account form. All right, so once that's done, we can go back to an account record and let's we'll see the updated form. So let's let the form load here for Alpine Ski House. And as you can see, there's our beautiful updated panel color, nice and bright, easy for us to find recent opportunities. And it was a super fast change that we made. Number three, the thing I really love about this update and we've been pushing for for so long and really excited about is the multi-selection option set. I know it sounds simple, but it never existed before. 
um, and it actually would require a lot of programming and custom work to be done. It's finally here, let's take a look. So a multi-selection option set is an option set that gives us more than one option, which in the past we were limited to single selections on option sets. So when you have an overlap of options, let's say somebody could be left-handed, somebody could be right-handed, and somebody can be ambidextrous, well, we never had that choice before except for putting three different options there rather than selecting left, right, both of those at the same time. So let's add a new field. I'm gonna go under customizations, customize the system, and let's just add an option set to our account entity. We'll add a new field. And let's say we're tracking medical facilities uh, for our customers based on our, our uh, sales model. And we'll just call it customer type. Make the field optional here. And down where it says data type, you'll notice a new data type, multi-select option set. Perfect, so this is gonna give me more than one option to choose from. Now keep in mind that when you're setting up a field, you really want to think through whether the field should be a multi-selection option set or just a single selection. After you've established the field, you won't be able to take a single selection option set and upgrade it to a multi-selection. So really think it through with your team. If you're not sure, I would say err on the side of being more complex and setting up a multi-selection option set and just having that option there for the future in case you ever need that overlap. So I've set up the multi-selection option set. I'm going to set add some values to it. So we'll say hospital is a value, pharmacy, dental, and we'll say family care. So we may have different industries, but a hospital could also include a pharmacy and we'd want to select more than one option there. So you get the idea, you can add those options, make them available, and create a nice field for yourself. And I'm gonna publish this. And then all we need to do is add it to a form and we have it ready and available. Okay, so now that we've added the field, I'm gonna add it to my form. And the field is a custom field, so I'll just use my filter on the right, grab my customer type field I just added, and drag it over. Click Save. And Publish. The number four thing that I love about the Dynamics 365 update is that Microsoft Flow is incorporated inside of the system and I can run it from records directly. So if you've been using Flow and you've set up different flows that will take Dynamics 365 information and advance it or move it along into a different format or even system, you can actually perform those flows directly from records on demand rather than having those flows run automatically from Microsoft Flow. So if you've been using that and you might have um, seen some examples of it, what's really neat is, let's say I'm on an account record, I can click the ellipses at the top of my screen, select the flow, and then run whatever flow I want on the account. So that could be to send an email, it could be um, some other function that's going to be automated through Microsoft Flow that was easy to set up um, graphically, and I can actually perform it whenever I need it on the records without contacting my administrator. So end users can actually run the flows on the records, and you're not just limited to the account entity, but you can use contacts, opportunities, leads, whatever you need to. Most often you'll be using flows with leads, is what I've noticed, but you can always use them against other types of records. Last but not least, from the Dynamics 365 update, I really love the Sales Hub and the left-hand navigation that's included in it. So you'll see that there's an instance of Dynamics 365 inside your Office portal, which you can select that instance called Sales Hub, and it actually launches Dynamics 365 in a different format. So that's what I have up on the screen right now. You can see it says Sales Hub, and I have left-hand navigation, so it's a little different than before where I had the navigation at the top of my screen. It's actually made it a lot more streamlined and it's intended to work for tablets and also for mobile use. So 
it's kind of this all-encompassing version that's not necessarily recommended for desktop because it has other features, which are kind of cool. But I actually just think it's really nice and slick, and I think a lot of salespeople will really prefer this over looking at Dynamics 365 in the other traditional format. So let's just take a look at the navigation buttons on the left here. So I can actually go to my dashboards and click on the left, and you can see it, it loads nicely in the same new format the same slick design. I can also take a look at my activities. And as I click through, you'll notice just how nice everything appears on my screen. Also, the top of my screen, you can see here, I have nice new action buttons that just look a lot cleaner and more streamlined, easier to read. I can add things quickly and easily. And my search functionality is still here for me. Of course, I can search for things. I also have these task flows, which are cool. I can click update contact, for example, and it gives me a search screen to update a contact that I'm looking for. So let's say it's Maria Campbell. And I can just update her information real quick while I'm here. So it's Maria Suzanne. Update her middle name, click next done. I don't need to actually go to the record, but it's pulled it up nicely in this little quick sneak peek for format. You can see I have the same thing here with follow-up opportunity and after meeting. So you can see, use this task flow to update your appointment and related records after your meeting is over. So this could be really, really handy for you can look for your appointment, um, start or create a new one directly from here. So the whole layout is just pretty nice and easy. And as you can see here, still gives me that same Dynamics 365 functionality, just with a little more, or a little different of a feature set and the way that the data is laid out on the screens. Um, it's especially works well on your mobile devices so that if you click on a phone number, for example, it knows that you're dialing out um, rather than the regular format that you would find on the traditional Dynamics 365 instance. This is Miriam Florio. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for more information on Dynamics 365. Bye.